G'day guys, my name's Josh, you can call me Joe Woodle, and welcome back to 7 Days, welcome back to Demolishers Only. I'm still surprised that we've lasted as long in this as we have, it's now day 37, which is so much further into this game than I ever thought I would make, but... Just because I'm surprised doesn't mean I can take my foot off the pedal at all. Today is trader restock day, so I do have all the gubs in my pockets to go and sell. I've got my cheesecake, got my sugar butts, got the gubs with all sorts of mods and stuff all chucked in to make as much money as possible. Because I need to make that automated drawbridge. I really want one of those. Or I can just buy myself a gyrocopter if he's got it for me. In fact... Saying that, I might even grab all my money just in case there is a gyro to buy. Because there's a whole big world out there for me to go exploring. And I need to get to the air. It's absolutely chucking it down outside, which is very nice to me. I love the sound of rain, even in a game. So one of the things this game does very well, actually, is the sound of rain pitter-pattering outside. There's a whole thunderstorm going on out there. But look at this, though, with the windows there, the rain coming down. I would fall asleep in about three seconds flat in this place, and that is definitely saying something. I'm not good at sleeping by a long shot. I'm going to start using some coal to do my smelting. That should be more than enough room to do. We'll get another stack going on after that. And I've also got, in this forge, two full stacks of 6,000 stone with enough fuel in there for two days worth of burning. Because if I get a gyro today, or even just with the motorcycle, I reckon it's high time I went looking for the wasteland. There's some demos around downstairs, but there's a, a few of them about. I thought I heard someone much closer than that, but oh, there's a sneaky one. Sneaky one. Right there, your gore, the power of the suppressor. Keep me nice and safe. Did you die from that? I'm pretty sure you did. Jeez, these new kick-ass rifles are doing a wonderful job of doing exactly that. Nice. I probably actually need... Oh, is it out there? It might be out there, actually. I need some more AP ammo. Trade is about to open. Yeah, now nah, we'll go swing past the horde base and get what I need. Down we go. Straight onto our brand new motorcycle. Look at you. Look how good you look. This still hurts me. This still hurts me to come walking around what used to be my horde base. It's gone. Although somehow, it's somehow more attractive now than it was previously when I came here. I think I still have, I do, all the stuff left in the boxes from the horde that I should probably get through at some point soon. I can't read Claudia's treasure map. Ooh, you can come with me and get sold immediately, actually. So can that book. I really... Really should have done a better job with this. I might go chuck some shit into the bike, just the money, because I don't really need it right now. <laughs> That's some half our shit by me. I completely forgot about it. I should definitely think about cutting down those trees at some point soon. There's just a wall of foliage behind my house that I I love so much. I, I'm really attached to that house now. If a demo breaks in and explodes it, I'm going to be rather upsetting spaghetti. Speaking of spaghetti, though, I need a snack, so straight to the vending machine to find, hopefully... In fact, uh, I was going to say hope for some more sugar butts, but I also need to grab, as always, no sugar butts. Also need to grab a awesome sauce. I'll take you. All right, knackers. It's a brand new day with some brand new stock. I'm going to put you in first. That's saved for buying things. I'll put you in instead. In you go. Let's make some money. Just me and you. He bought almost everything off me. I made 50 grand. I've got 90 grand on me at the moment, and there's some more in the bike outside. That is bleeding ridiculous. And in fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to chuck in my cheesecake immediately because I just saw him. you've got a Magnum. You're as cheap as you're ever going to be, and that's going to give me a discount uh, or a bonus going forward. So buy a cheeky Magnum. What else you got? Rifle books. I'll buy your steel. Never going to be cheaper. I don't really need any of those. You never really, you never really offer me a whole lot of stuff that I'm really desperate for. It's kind of just, just a bunch of nothing, just a bunch of gibberish. He's got a solar cell for 22 grand. Sure, why not? I don't really need the rest of you. I've bought a lot of things off you. That's all the stuff I already sold. All, all right. Thank you for that one. Do I have the time? In fact, with the new bike, I might have time to get all the way down to the other trader down to the south. There was no reinforced drawbridge. There was no gyrocopters. Maybe I need to go and find... Oh, that's pacey. Maybe I need to go and find a new trader. Maybe that's the issue that is going over to Trader Huzzy all the time. 
He's hustling and bustling, but he's not really offering anything good. Maybe if I find like a Rex or a Joel, for example, they might have what I need. Yeah, look at the difference. Look at the difference in pace that has. I've got here with a whole minute to spare on my awesome sauce. That is, that's chalk and cheese. That's quite ridiculous. That's so different. Not even Wallace so going to be happy about that. You, I'll take the sugar butts. Thank you. I'll take a fresh one of you and you and all of you while I'm at it. All right, real fast. You've got a T6 nail gun. Very tempting. I'll take both of you. I'll do the battery back. I'll take the electric fence posts. You've got some more things that are getting me a bit more excited. Vehicle adventures. Thank you. Scrapping tools. I'll take the handyland books as well. Nice and fast, Josh. Don't think. Just buy. I'm like the best customer ever. Nothing else. No. Suppress mod. I've already got two of them any more than that. Tripwire. I'll take the glue. Steel club. I think you're not going to have it for me, are you? I'll quickly just double check while I've got it going. No gyrocopter. No drawbridge. Nah, nah, nothing. I've double checked. There's nothing else. I could buy the tier 6 nail gun, but it doesn't really matter what level the nail guns yeah, are. They still back. repair and upgrade at the same rate. Oh, I think actually the tier 6 repairs at a slightly higher rate, but upgrading, that definitely goes at the same pace. So I'll quickly read you, read all of you, and all of you. No other books. I can make mechanical tools quality one, but that's all right. I can make my own bloody nail gun, but I've got cash. I've got the Magnum. Oh, oh, I probably should have used that. I probably should have used it. I'm pretty sure I have in here. Magnum in foursome. Oh, do I? No, oh, shit. Oh, wait, no, no, it's 5% less damage. Oh, good. Okay, I haven't unlocked it yet. It's fine. I didn't waste anything. My Muppet tree is unfazed. I was actually about to leave, but I just had the thought, potentially, old mate Bobby Boy might give me the job to repair my gas station. It's probably a pretty big ask, but potentially, uh, how far away? 1.3 kilometers. 1.3 kilometers. Some help for it's rare no way. No way. Is that... Times. Is that... No, it is going to be the one. Oh, Bobby boy, I could kiss you. Mwah, 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 mwah. I don't have to go and reset my own passing gas. He'll do it for me. That's a bloody bonds again. That is. I was literally almost out the gate. And I was like, oh, I might just give it a go. Because you never bloody know. Look at you. Look at you. See, I mentioned going to new traders. And that's what you give me. It's a sign. New traders forever. It's so quick. It's so quick getting around. Oh. Damn it! I, tr I tried to unsnap my camera so I could look around at the place and I drove my bike directly into a ditch. Look at you. You're about to get... You're about to get a long overdue makeover, but oh, I'm going to quickly drop all this stuff back at home first. <laughs> look at the shambles that this place is. It's basically... It's, it's tissue paper. It's paper mache on a rainy day. Sticking together, I don't even know how. You're about to get a whole new day. A whole new life put into you. Yes, it's a bit of an exploit using the trader quest to do that. But hey, that's how the game's being built. So that's how I'm going to play it. Make sure I leave my bike far enough out of the way. In fact, I might even just take you with me to really, really hedge my bets. I'm not going to cock this up. Give you a sequel. It's only a tier one clear, but there is going to be a lot of demos inside them. Make sure I grab the steel out of the petrol bowsers. Thank you. And thank you. That's tier four ratchets doing a bloody bang up job. Wait a second. What's my loot level in here? It's already 114 even without the loot goggles because I'm just that bloody high level. Scrap you, throw that away. Take that. Might even crack open the ATM while I'm here as well. Just take your time. Don't bend this. Don't assume it's going to be easy. Because nothing is anymore. Oh, no. Oh, you are shitting me. That woke them up? I just... I broke down the vending machine next to the wall. And that pissed off... Uh-oh. That pissed off all the demos inside. Oh, there's one really close. Nope. Bad. That's okay. Just don't... I keep telling myself this. Just don't panic at every time. I bloody panic. That was about as clean shooting as you're ever really going to get. Save the AP. Go with the regular round. Okay. That wasn't even like... Look at this guy. Strung him up like a Christmas goose. Aren't bloody lucky. That wasn't even like the whole POI. That was just one room of them coming out to say hello. More SWAT helmets. More SWAT helmets. Scrap you. Take that. Take the mod out of you. Whew. All right, well, 
<laughs> That's one way to wake up in the morning. It's kicked off immediately. I'm trying to be stealthy. I'm trying to be quiet to find out where the rest of them are. There's no one in the front room. Watch out for the glass on the ground. I don't think I have the book. That means I can walk over that silently because... Oh, I've basically got none of the... um. Urban combat books. Oh, the rattle and the gasp and the breathing and the snoring is getting me up oh, here. BG bit a little bit. Time to go. Time to go. Straight through the demo gap they put in the window. Hold on. Good crickets. Gonna go with just the regular rounds if I can at all make it work. Stand up. Oh my god. That was close. I waited. That's that little bit too long for him to stand up and he almost battered and clattered me, but I'm all right because I'm a champion. Snacks, scraps, and a modem. Beautiful. Found some vitamins in the bathroom, which I will quickly gobble and hopefully that will keep... I don't actually know. I don't... In my vast experience of modding, which is basically negative five, I don't actually know if how this mod works that um vitamins will keep me safe. I guess we'll find out at some point soon. Lock picks out of you. Just some more iron. Grab you for your bones. Thank you. I'm still always, always looking for extra sticky stuff. Water, glue, the lot. Can't forget the cheeky servo box up in the roof for scrapping and harvesting tools. Take the rest of you with me as well. Ooh, a cheeky safe in the corner. In fact, if I snap this one lock pick, yeah, I was going to say, I'll just beat her to death with the pickaxe. I still haven't finished the quest. There's a dog in the back room. I'm still all fluttery. My heart rate's still pumping through the gaps in my ribcage. I'm very aware that I should not take anything for granted at this point. That's unlocked. Doggo should be right there. I missed that shot. The reticle was pitting his ears back and I missed the shot. How did I even do that? Can't forget to grab the loot. What have we got? We've got a pass of gas box, a regular box and some food and ammo. Pears, get that immediately in. Cheeky little fruity snack. Not millions of peaches, but millions of pears. Scrap you. Read that's an oil shale and... Oh, the wrong needle and thread book as it always seems to bloody be. All right. Job done. Uh, it wasn't a fetch, so I don't have to take anything back to trade. I'll be down there at some point, I'm sure, before too long. Nice, Gary. And look at that. And look at this. It's brand spanking new and ready for another horde. And given how given how the last couple of horde bases are gone, I feel like you're going to see some use. It's already 20 to 1, and my goal for today was to not be around here anymore. So I'm going to take you, you. I'll take... A couple of sugar butts, just in case. You can stay behind. I can take you to sell wherever I go. That's an easy decision. I don't have any more cheesecakes, though. Can I make myself a cheesecake? I just need a pumpkin. Do I, do I not have a pumpkin at all? I have pumpkin seeds. How quickly are you going to grow? Because I can't go on a big adventure, even I'm sailing for adventure on the big blue wet thing, without... The pumpkin cheesecake. I'm probably going to check Trady. He might sell me some. But if I go on a big adventure and I find a Trady who's going to sell me a gyro, that cheesecake might be the difference between being able to afford it and not being able to afford it, even with $103,000 in ooze on me. I have to go check. I have to go check. I have to go find myself some pumpkins. In fact, is there a Judy Witch here somewhere? If there's a Judy Witch place that has pumpkins in the yard, that will give me what I'm after. Well, that's going to have to be the plan then. I'm going to go straight up, off the wall, over the wall. I'll check the tradie first because he's right there. But I think... I know I've seen a, Ju a Judy Witch. It always stands out to me because it's a JW house. And oh, for a little while there, I was convinced it was named after me. It definitely wasn't, but that's fine. Makes me feel better deep down inside. Knackers, do you have, real quick, just a cheeky pumpkin? No, you don't. Well, you're orange and spherical, so you're a fucking pumpkin. If memory serves, it should be it's on the outskirts somewhere. I know that. Jeez, this storm is not letting up. But I think it was down in the eastern side at the end of the road. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I forgot about that. <laughs> Just occasionally you come across a POI that's not really any sort of POI anymore. Here we go, Judy Witch was right next door. I knew I was right. That place next door, that crater that once was something, absolutely torn to shreds. To shreds, you say. That thing's so fucked up, it could actually pile it. The Planet Express shit. 
It was a successful little jaunt, but now it's already 20 past two. Jeez, the time is getting away from me. So bleeding quickly, leave you then. Over the fence we go with our sweet parkour skills. I did pick up a couple of eggs on the way through as well, so I should be able to make a couple more of them. Six minutes. Six minutes you want to cook. I mean, it's five cheesecakes. I don't need that many of them. What can I do instead? You're making some ammo. That's fine. You're making some glue. That's also fine. Also, I need you making some water after that as well. Good God, the, the cooking never stops. There's not much I can do about that other than to hurry up and wait. So while I'm waiting for that, you guys are now the big boy trees with 1,200 smackers in you. Grab you, change you out for that one. Make sure we replant. I don't want too many trees, just enough. Look how good this is going though. This world is all coming together. I know where things are. I can find pumpkins when I need to. It's a shame there's no more pumpkins out there, but at least I have some seeds to grow them. Dude, this is like... I've got a whole little setup going now. I'm no longer just flailing around hoping for good outcomes. Sometimes. I was coming just to make another Diamond Blade Sit mod, and there's already a couple of boxes of AP ammo just hanging out in the other workbench. Not making so much ammo, I can't even keep track of it anymore. I'll take all of you. I'll turn that straight into duct tape, please, to make some more repair kits. Beautiful. You're now done. I only really need the two, don't I? Do I, do I start making a track today then? Do I head out straight away? I hit trade erect on the way through. Because I've been out that way and I didn't see any wasteland. So I reckon... Oh, there's a trader there as well. I reckon there's so many treasure maps. I reckon if I take this north road and just start cracking on, at some point I might find a mountain or something and see if I can see a uh, uh, some wasteland from the top of that. And if I can't, I guess I'll just have to be mount disappointment. That's a, that's, a, that's a Victoria joke. A rare one at that. Repair kits. You. Let's make 34 of them. I'll just make... Uh, let's go like 10, I suppose. Chuck you into them. Put that away. I've got meds. I've got no food. I'll take you. I'll take you. I'll take those ones as well. I'm still pretty shy on food, actually. I am taking a cooking pot so I can do whatever I need to when I get there. I have so much canned food. Fuck it, you come with me and you come with me. I'm sure I'll get through you soon anyway. Think I'm about as ready to go as I'm ever gonna be. I've got all my tools that I'm gonna need. You can go back into them. I've got my money, just in case I do find the gyro. I've got sugar butts, awesome sauce, and pumpkin cheesecakes, and a bunch of dosh. I think that's gonna be good. I think that's good. All right, well, let's get back on the hog and start heading north then, which is out over that way. Bounce off you, straight into the cockpit. Gorgeous. It's very late in the day to be starting a road trip, but it's fine. <laughs> At least I hope it's going to be fine. <laughs> as long as I don't get my bloody bike stuck. Get out of there. There's always something that I forget when I go on these adventures. There's always something obvious that I've left back at home, and then I get to the new place. And I'm like, oh, I really should have taken that thing with me. I completely forgot, but hopefully, no honey out of you. Hopefully this time, I haven't been such a pelican. <laughs> you think after doing this so many times, I've figured out what it is I'm supposed to be bringing with me, but... Dude, I take something out of my lock slots and I immediately forget what's missing. I'm awful at that. This is one of the traders here. I've forgotten which one it is. It's a... Oh, it's a wrecked, actually. I'm actually going to pull... Oh, just pull up right at the front. Park my bike inside because I left the doors open. Sweet little drift is to get in and out again. Beautiful. Old mate's cranky, but that's pretty fine. I'd be cranky too if I threw somewhere near wrecked for any extended period of time. Sit ya. I'm doing you a favor, I promise. I would like to explode you, but I'd also like to have the XP. Get a wreckers. Quickly check for some sugar butts and some eye candy as well. I've been looking for you, so I'll take some of that. I'll take your mega crushes and I'll take your awesome sauces as well. And I don't need the rest of you. Okay. Well, that was all just kind of ancillary to what I actually need from you. Give me good things. Give me all the good things. Not only does he not have any of the good things, he's barely got anything. They would even tempt me to chuck in the sugar butts. The sugar butts are more valuable to me than anything you're offering me right now. Yeah, there's a couple of scraps of concrete and cobblestone and whatnot, but nothing really giving me the fizz at all. 1500 bucks for an advanced muffled connectors mod. You can <laughs> put that somewhere that I never want to see again. I will just take the books then. I'll take you. I will take scrapping. If I'll take all the scrappings, I'll take the home cookings and... I guess, I guess that's it. 
Dude, what a dismal selection. Thank God they didn't come out just to see you. That's hogwash. I'm gonna leave the doors open again just so when next time I come through, I can pull in all over again. I really feel like there should be, like there should be an upgrade you can buy for the traders, right? Like 20 grand, like a fat stack of dukes, in my case, dollar dues. You should be able to buy motion sensing gates specifically for when you're on vehicles. When you're on foot, you can like manually toggle it, that's fine. But if I cruise up on my bike, open the gate for me. I mean, you have the horn function, which is one of these buttons. There you go, you cruise up. Doors open, you give him the honk. That can be the trigger for it, so don't do it accidentally when there's zombies outside. That'd be so good. Like, let me actually utilize your gates here, Ma. I thought it might be a town, but I think there's just a crossroads just over there. Oh, pay attention where you're driving, please. So you don't drive directly into the back of that open mining van. Min mining? Mining? Minivan? There might, there might have been something over there, but... Ooh, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for it. We've got the speed, we've got the bike, we've got the pace. Let's go and have a gander and see what we can see. <laughs> the last time I went looking at those one of these places, I found absolutely nothing. All I found was an overpass full of explosions. There's a military base, which is a little bit tempting, but not tempting enough. I'm gonna find a gyrocopter or a drawbridge in there. Am I... I am heading in the right direction. It's still a long way off the beaten path though, but I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. I just wanted to go north. So there's a town out here. It looks pretty small though. I don't see any big POIs. It's still pine forests. Nah, I, I think I'm shit out of luck on this one. Well, I'll pay a quick visit to the trader and then get out of here again. You never know, might be Trader Jen. Actually, while I am here, I'm gonna keep all four of my eyes very much peeled for any cracker books that might be around because I'm still absolutely desperate to get that last, well, last, the one needle and thread book that's actually valuable, which there was no cracker books at all in this whole town. <sighs> Come on, you gotta have bookstores. What kind of place doesn't have a bookstore? Or at least a library or something? Are you Trader Joel? You are, are not? Who are you? Are you another Huey? You're another Trader Hugh. It's always Trader Hugh. I'm not gonna turn down the chance to get some extra Forger head books though. Not that it actually really matters at this point. Five more till I can unlock my own Crucible, but now that I have one, I don't really need any more of them. Oh, someone's mad about that. Someone's a big fan of Crucibles, it seems. G'day, Cobham. Oh, Fancy seeing you here. I am wearing the appropriate goggles, Just so any special head. jobs. Tier 5 I've opening trade routes. The ace to trade a bob. Is there actually a road that leads there though? Like this road goes into the desert, but I don't, it might actually connect up there again. Or even potentially down there. So I've just done one big circle and got absolutely nowhere. Once again, there's nothing really good in you. I mean, I'm really asking a lot at this point. I'm going for gyrocopters and automated drawbridges. The rest of the stuff like, yeah, kind of handy, but nothing... No, nothing really that good. I think my expectations are just that little bit too high. I can't buy the rest of it because I'm shockers. Get that all into your brain. I'll buy the other books. That one, that's about it. There's, there's nothing else. That's all there is. There isn't any more. So I'm gonna quickly steal some shit off you and get out of here. It's getting dark, the crickets are chirping, the sun is setting and it's very doomy and gloomy out here. Oh, that's a demo. We're gonna try and head back. Oh, you real quick. Real quick. No, it was an urban combat book, but not the one. I saw it. It stood out to me and I listened to my gut and I was like, oh, I should definitely check that just in case. And it gave me something, but the wrong something. Damn it. So close yet so far. But I'm going to head back out to that northern road and see if I can just find something or I'll just find somewhere to shack up for the night, but it's getting pretty late to go on raids. But now that the demos are so bleeding fast during the day, there's very little reason not to not to push my luck there because nighttime demos aren't actually that much worse than daytimes. We're still heading north, and now we're heading up a mountain, which is exactly what I was hoping for. I need somewhere to get a bit of a look out to see if I can see the terrain change from the pine to the wasteland. Give me a lookout. Give me any sort of lookout, please. Or even like a POI or something to bunker down into for the night. There's a mountain range out a long way in the distance, but I can't tell what kind of terrain it is. I mean, this is exactly what I was looking for. This is exactly what I was hoping for. 
There's a small western village down there. <gasps> That's a slight change. You see that? That is absolutely a change. It's harder to see out that way, but definitely in the distance. There especially, that mountain range is wasteland. Shit, yes. Okay. Um... I need to find somewhere to bunker down in for the night. There's a little road back behind me, so I might quickly go find whatever's at the end of that little path and make it my home for the night. I'm going to chuck down a campfire. I've already got my cooking pot, so we're fine. Oh, it's a long way back, actually. It's a long bloody way back. Never mind. Forward. Always forward. Oh, there's one right here. What was I even worried about? It's a bit of, it's a, bit of a goat track, but oh well, we'll make it work. Probably not wide enough to be cruising around on at any sort of pace. What are you? What are you? Are you somewhere that I can call home? I mean, it's not much, but it's gonna have to do. Dropped. Sat. Please be no landmines or anything. I do not have that book. Radio outpost. That's a Pidgey. Nice clean shooting. I hear Stompies. I see Stompies. He's still not dead from two rounds in the chin. All right, I think we're okay. I think we're all right. I just wanna, oh yeah, there we go. Just wanna get a bit of a view into the tent. Keep your eyes on the ground, please, Josh, because there will probably be landmines around here somewhere. Oh, oh, he found me. He found me. Get a bit of distance. Just, oh, I was gonna say, just do not clap his nips. I've got nowhere to go if he starts beeping. I'd have to try and kill him on the spot, but I don't really like my chances of that. I'll take all of you. Loot stage is 114 in here. Already got the other loot bag. All right. I guess I, I guess this is home sweet home. <laughs> it's not anything. There's not even walls in this place. At least there's some bulk bones for me. Well, they used to be friends, but now they're just a pile of bones. Grab all of that. Grab you as well. Thank you. Search the old west coffin for nothing. All right, I just want to move my bike into the compound just that little bit and turn its headlight off because I think my plan's going to be just to, like, try and lay low, get a bunch of stones in my pocket, actually, and if demos get close, throw the stones to lure them away because I don't really have shit anywhere to really defend myself here. And it's raining as well. What could possibly get worse? I didn't want my bike getting soggy, so I've moved it into this tent. There's a couple of... Lovely springy beds for me. I'm already, I'm already re-chockified, if that's even a bloody word. Not the chockers is the word to start with. I've already re-chockified myself with all the loot that I've gotten just in this last little bit. Yet another shotgun book that I've never specced into. Yet another needle and thread book that isn't the one that I want. The game's just taking the piss now. It is generally flopping out the old salami stick and pissing all over everyone's foreheads. That's horseshit. Just quickly searching the rest of the compounds to make sure I haven't missed anything. Cheeky bit of food. I mean, I'm not really in a position to argue, so thank you for that one. I'll quickly break you to stop the flickering, and I think... I guess I was going to live in this little tent for a bit. I can't climb you at all, can I? I can... Oh, I can jump up there with parkour, but that's about it. I don't see anyone. I'm just in the middle of nowhere. In the middle of nowhere in a bloody shack in the trees. This wasn't quite how I saw the day going. All right. Well, I've got my campfire. I've got my stones if I need them. If I hear any stomp around outside, I'm just going to start pinging pebbles all over the bloody shop, trying to lure the demos away. But that's going to have to do it for this episode. I'm just going to sit here all night. I'll actually start moving north at about 3 a.m. so the time the sun comes up, I should hopefully be a little bit closer to the wasteland. I absolutely do not want to go to the wasteland at night time. I'm not a brave boy at the best of times, but that, that's, I might as well strip myself up now and save everyone the hassle. But... I'm going to have to come back and go and take on the Wasteland, which will be heck of bloody dicey in the next episode, because this episode is done. So thank you guys for watching. Most of all, thank you to the pages of Patreon who made this episode possible. If you liked, make sure you hit the like button down below and subscribe to this channel. Follow me on Twitter. If I don't talk to you there first, I'll see you in the next episode. Have a good one.